Please repeat after me. Now, now we are going to read a book called Who Will Cry When You Die? Written by Robin Sharma. Repeat after me. Loud, loud. I can't hear you. Loud, loud. And clear. And clear. Okay. Discover your calling. Discover your calling. When I was growing up, when I was growing up, my father, my father said something to me. Said something to me. I will never forget. I will never forget. Son, son, when you were born, when you were born, you cried, you cried while the world rejoiced. While the world rejoiced. While the world rejoiced. While the world rejoiced. Rejoice means what? Was happy. Right? World was rejoiced. It's not just joy, rejoiced. They, they were happy after you, right? Rejoice together, right? Live your life, Live your life. In, such in such a way that when you die, when you die the world cries, the world cries while, you while you rejoice. We live in, we live in an, age an age when we have, when we have forgotten, forgotten what life is all about. We can easily put a person on the moon. Person on the moon. But we have trouble. But we have trouble walking across the street. Walking across the street to meet a new neighbor. To meet a new neighbor. We can fire missile. We can fire missile across the world. Across the world with pinpoint accuracy. With pinpoint accuracy. But we have trouble. But we have trouble keeping a date. Keeping a date with our children. With our children to go to the library. To go to the library. We have email. Fax machines, fax machines and digital phones, and digital phones. So, that so that we can stay connected, connected. and yet we live, and yet we live. In, a in a time where human beings, where human beings have, never have never been less connected. Less connected. We, have lost we have lost touch, touch. with our humanity. We have lost touch with our purpose. We have lost sight of the things that matter the most. And so, as you start this book, I respectfully ask you, who will cry when you die? How many lives will you touch while you have the privilege to walk this planet? What impact will your life have on the generations that follow you? And what legacy will you leave behind after you have taken your last breath? One of the lessons I have learnt in my own life is that if you don't act on life, life has a habit of acting on you. The days slip into weeks. The weeks slip into months. And the months slip in two years. Pretty soon, it's all over. And you're left with nothing more than a heart filled with regret over a life half-lived. George Bernard Shaw was asked on his deathbed what would you do if you could live your life over again? He reflected, then replied with a deep sigh, I'd like to be the person I could have been but never was. I've written this book so that this will never happen to you. As a professional speaker, I spend much of my work 
uh, of my work life delivering keynote addresses at conferences across North America, flying from city to city, sharing my insights on leadership in business and in life with many different people. Though they all come from diverse walks of life, their questions invariably center on the same things these days. How can I find greater meaning in my life? How can I make a lasting contribution through my work? And how, can I simplify and how can I simplify so that I can, so that I can enjoy, the enjoy the journey of life, of life. Before, it is too late. before it is too late? My answer, My answer always, begins always begins the same way. The same way. Find your calling. Find your calling. I, believe I believe we all have a special... I, I believe, I believe we all have special talents, all have special talents that, are that are just waiting to be, waiting to be engaged, engaged in a worthy pursuit. Worthy pursuit. Pursuit? Pursuit means following like. something, following something that you like. We are all, we are all here, here for some unique purpose, for some, unique purpose some, noble some noble objective, objective that, will allow us that will allow us to manifest, to manifest, manifest. our manifest. What's the meaning of manifest? Try, try to say the meaning. To realize, to realize something, you know, you have an, you have a dream. Right? And you create it in this world. That's called manifest. manifesting, right? Some noble objective, Some noble objective, objective. that will allow us that will allow to manifest, us manifest, manifest our highest human potential. Our our highest human human potential. potential. While, we, while we at the same time, at the same time add value, add value to the lives. Right. Around, us. around us. Finding your calling, Finding your calling doesn't, mean doesn't mean you must leave, you the, must job. leave the job. The job. You now have. You now have. It, simply means it simply means you need to bring, need to bring more, of yourself more of yourself into your work. Into your work. And focus, and focus on, the things on the things you do best. You do best. It means, it means you have to stop waiting for other people to make changes you desire. And as Mahatma Gandhi noted, be the change that you wish to see most in your world. And once you do, your life will change. Every day, Every day, please read, please read a story from, this book. story from this book. And when you come for class, when you come to class, come and tell me, come and tell me the story, the story in a few sentences, and, few sentences, and tell me, and tell me what you learned, and what you learned. How this, how this will change your life. Will change your life. Read loud, read loud and clear, and clear every day. Every day. One story. One story. Okay? One story.